2008, the research group Astra of the University of Antwerp in Belgium presented their groundbreaking desktop supercomputer, the Fastra. Powered by eight GPUs, the system was, at that time, among the most powerful single PCs in the world, beating even a large-scale supercomputer. Today, the Astro Group is back with a brand new supercomputing project. The goal? Pushing desktop supercomputing to its outer limits. Here you see our latest design, the FASTRA 2. Compared to the FASTRA 1, which had four graphics cards, the new design now has seven graphics cards for a total of 13 GPUs. It packs an astonishing 12 teraflops, which is comparable to a modern supercomputer costing millions of euros. To build a system that is even much more powerful than the first edition of Fastra, we had to overcome several physical obstacles. The first one concerns the motherboard. At the time we built Fastra 1, the biggest motherboard available had four PCI Express slots. Now, about a year ago, Asus came with their new motherboard product line, where you can see this motherboard that has six PCI Express slots, and there even is a version with seven such slots that we used in the design of FASTA 2. Now having many slots available is one thing, but the latest gaming cards are very thick and they don't fit all simultaneously in the seven slots. To deal with that, we came up with these flexible PCI Express cables that go into the slots and allow you to suspend the cards over the motherboard so they don't have to fit all together. However, the mass required for such a big block of graphics cards is enormous and so we had a custom cage developed in collaboration with a Belgian computer company called Tones and a laser cutting company that allows you to suspend all the cards over the motherboard. Now a final concern that was already some issue with FASTRA 1 is heat. With two FASTRAs in a room, additional heating in the winter is no longer necessary. When starting this project, we hoped that just assembling all the hardware would lead to success. Excited and all, we turned on the system for the first time. And nothing happened. Now the problem with this system is that the motherboard uses a 32-bit BIOS. And this cannot deal with all the graphics cards simultaneously. And we collaborated with Asus and they came up with a special custom BIOS that allows us to boot with all these cards. But it still requires hacking, stuff like modifying Linux kernels to get it actually working. Although our new FASTRA 2 system is not as general as a traditional supercomputing facility, it has many advantages. First of all, it is very green taking a fraction of the power required to power a large supercomputing facility. Second, it is also highly mobile. You can take the system under your arm and take it just anywhere. And finally, it is also very inexpensive. Costing less than 6,000 euros, you get a supercomputer that is as powerful as a whole facility costing millions of euros. Now we are currently still working on this system as we are encountering some problems in getting it stable. So if you want to know more about the status of our work, check out the website.